So question number uh, 13. One second. Yeah. Question number 13 talks about a uh, gradient is given and one point is given. So when gradient is given, that means M is given. Okay. M value is two. And it is going through a point one comma four. So we know the equation is y equals to mx plus c. So basically, I want m and c in this case. Okay. m value is already given. So basically, we need to find out c. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to substitute m. That is 2x plus c. Now, at 1 comma 4. So this value is x and this value is y. I'll just substitute the values. So 4 equals to 2 bracket 1 plus c. So c minus 2, 4 minus 2 equals to c, 2 equals to c. So I got the c value. So therefore, again, substituting in y equals to m. m value was 2. So 2x plus 2. So this becomes my final equation. Any doubt in this thing? Quickly. So based on this thing, uh, you can do question number 14a part. Right now. Yeah, okay. So again, y equals to mx plus c. We will write the equation. And uh, y value is what? Tell me. So this is my y value. 3. 3. Okay. Yeah, 3 is my y value. Okay, I will write 3. E equals to, what is my m value? m value was given at the top, minus 5. And what is my x value over here? x value is minus, minus one. 1. Okay, so I'll go and write minus 1 in the bracket. Why in the bracket? Because they are getting multiplied. Okay. And uh, c, I don't know. So I will write plus c. You can use n solve over here. But if you don't want to use n solve, it is minus 5 multiplied by minus 1. It will give me a positive 5. I'll shift this 5 to the other side. So 3 minus 5 equals to c. Minus 2 will be my c. Okay. So I need c. I need m. Both of the things I have now. I have boxed them together. Again, I will be writing y equals to mx plus c form. Now, this is the equation. Whenever we are writing an equation, we keep in x and y. So, y, m value was what? Minus 5. x and c value was what? Minus 2. So, minus 2 comes over here. So, here becomes, this becomes my equation. Okay. Okay.